This film is intended for eye surgeons for training and education purposes. Viewer discretion is strongly recommended. Hi, this is a 32-year-old man with a posterior subcapsular cataract. He's posted for surgery and let's see how things go. The surgery is being done under topical anesthesia. First, the two side ports are created. I'm injecting air and under it, I'll be placing the intracameral anesthetic that is 1% preservative free xylocaine. OVD is injected into the antechamber and the air bubble is burped out. The partial thickness sterile groove is cut which is slightly bigger than the 2.8 mm planned incision. This helps in preventing the conjunctival ballooning from happening. 2.8 mm incision with a nice corneal tunnel is created. Over is injected to burp out the little bit of an air which is still present. Now sizing the rexus becomes is extremely critical in modern day cataract surgeries. We want at least one millimeter of the anti-capsule to wrap around the optic of the IOL all around. So that ensures the best refractive outcome in the post-op period and also possibility that it decreases the incidence of posterior capsule opacification, especially when used in combination with the hydrophobic lens. My trick here to ensure that it is well centered is I ask the patient to keep looking at the light and the rexus is always done with centered around these three light reflexes which I am seeing. And the distance between the tear and the iris margin is equidistant all around throughout the 360 degrees. And of course how much distance is with experience I think the mind just guesses invariably I end up getting the right size rexus. So it has to be centered around these light reflex and the distance between the anticapsular edge which is tearing and the iris has to be equidistant all around and it has to be around 5 mm that should be the goal. Hydrosection is done followed by hydrodelineation. Using a blunt Sinsky hook the nucleus is rotated just confirming that the cortex and the nuclear mass is devoid of any capsular cortical adhesions. Now moving on to the settings. In this case, because we're predominantly dealing with a soft cataract, so I'm just trying to trim and eat around the epinucleus there. The nucleus is going to be extremely soft. So the, my power is set at just 5%. The flow rate is around 40 and vacuum is 600. So in young patients, these soft cataracts are extremely easy to handle. We just have to hold and the soft lens matter just folds and melts into the lumen of the phaco tip. The endonucleus is aspirated followed by epinucleus. Nucleus management is the easiest in young patients. The only thing to get it right is the rexus. Once you get the rexus right, rest most of the steps are extremely easy in the younger patients. Posterior capsule is flushed with BSS to release some of the fibers. Time to perform the cortical aspiration. Cortical aspiration is done by using bimanual IND. Hands are switched 
to take care of the opposite quadrant so very quickly the all the cortex is aspirated out just cleaning the poster capsule by flushing it with bss gently this is a very quick way of cleaning the poster capsule many times you may end up struggling by using vacuum polisher but i find that just gentle flushing with bss quickly cleans up the poster capsule the capsular bag is inflated with ovd and a single piece hydrophobic intraocular lens is implanted into the bag I can see that the anti capsule does not look to be very clean so I would always want to have a very clean looking capsule it's debatable whether polishing the anti capsule or is going to really have any impact on poster capsule but hopefully by using uh, the polisher and trying to polish the equator of the bag if you get access maybe the incidence of PC can be minimized but at least on table when we polish this anti capsule it at least satisfies me that the entire capsule bag looks very clean so that's the reason why i do this especially when i find that the when the rexus is slightly of a smaller side but in this case the rexus was perfectly fine but still in this young patient i would always want to have a clean capsule so now we can see the entire debris which was there sticking onto that capsule has been cleaned off time to irrigate out the viscoelastic and all the the debris which have been polished out So in a couple of seconds OVD and everything is cleaned off and now we have clean capsular bag The rexus which I had planned turned out to be quite good and it's quite central and the entire optic is covered by at least 1 mm of the anti capsule that's it thank you for watching and hope you found this helpful